Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial. Uh, this video, it's going to be a follow-up to the video I made last week about config variables or configuration variables. Um, I wanted to make a video just to follow up on how to show you how to make uh, config variables but for arrays. Uh, because last week well, we only went under just single variables. Um, and actually adding arrays for config variables, it is possible, just the syntax within the default engine INI is a little different. So that's something I just wanted to go over with you guys in this kind of shortish video. Um, if you haven't already, please check out the original video. I'll link it right now in the video and it'll be in the description. Uh, make sure you check that out. If you didn't, because this might be a little confusing, I won't be going into too much detail that was already covered in last week's video. So just watch that and come back and we'll uh, start from there. Uh, but like I said, we're going to do a simple uh, example that's going to be, we'll, we'll do a text array, we'll do an integer array, we'll show you how to do each. Um, so uh, just to show you where I'm at, I'm using Unreal Engine uh, 4.15.1. Um, I'm having the, uh, just the, I think the minimal default, just a fresh project. I'm not using any kind of template. I just have starter content. And basically I'm opening this project and I have this. Uh, I took out all the other st old stuff from the previous video, so right now I have an empty UI, but I do have two pieces of UI. Uh, one is just uh, a holder with a, con a vertical container. That's where we're going to put in an array of text elements that will have different text based on what our config variable says. And then I have uh, a, uh, another UI element, which is just the text. I have it to size the content. Uh, config text is a variable, and I created a function just to set text. And we're going to call that uh, in a minute. And then in the main uh, UI, we have, like I said, the vertical uh, container, uh, size the content, uh, made it a variable. Uh, that's where we're starting off at. So uh, once you have that, uh, we can go ahead and create a new variable. It's going to be a text, uh, we'll call it text array. Maybe public variable. And then down here, check config variable. And then uh, make sure you note, like uh, I've said this in the previous video, but I'll say it again. Just make sure you take uh, close attention to uh, the config file and that uh, config section. You're going to have to write that into the default engine INI. Uh, I've already done it for my video here. Uh, I have it right here. Uh, it's, yours might be different than mine, just based on how you name things, but this is the general layout of it. Um, so now uh, we have our text array, we have a config variable. Let's compile and save, and let's just quickly make a for each loop. And what we're going to do uh, for the loop body, we're going to create a widget. Uh, which widget class? We're going to do the text element. Uh, we're going to get the get owning player, put it into our owning player pin. And then from this pin, we're going to do set text. That function we made uh, takes in a text variable. We'll just plug in that array element. And then we'll grab our container, pull from that, and call add child to vertical box. And then just connect that. So now we're basically done. Um, if you'll notice, right now our text array is empty. So if we play, nothing's going to happen. So let's go back to our default engine I and I. And what you're going to need to do, it's, it starts out almost the same way. So you do text array. And I have a space in my variables. We'll put a space there. And equals uh, any kind of text. So uh, do monkey. But now if you want to add a new element to the array, you have to do, go to the next line, do the plus sign, and then text space array equals, I don't know, panda. And then plus text space array equals uh, snake plus text array equals moose. So that's the format. So the very first element is just your variable name equals whatever value. But any uh, subsequent entries into your array, you need to first put in a plus. So plus and then no spaces, then your variable name. So plus text array equals whatever. The next element, plus text array equals that. So any subsequent variables you put in, you have to add that plus sign. So if we still play in just editor or yeah, in new window, we're not going to see anything. What we need to do is either do a standalone game or package the game. So for right now, we're just going to do a standalone game. And there we go. Monkey, Panda, Snake, Moose. <laughs> so a very simple example. 
uh, but it works. Uh, so just to get the point across, we'll change the variable uh, to an integer. Change variable type, let it do its thing. Don't worry about indexing right now. Reconnect everything to that array. So array element, uh, we'll just do to text. Put it in. And then we'll do int array. Now we need to go back into our default engine i and i. And basically just change this uh, variable. Int array equals 5 plus int array equals 7 plus int array equals 2 plus int array equals 1000. So now if you play standalone. We got our numbers. So one of the really cool things, just to end this all off, is uh, if you'll notice again, our int array, it's empty. Zero elements, right? So what's kind of cool is you can close this out. You can reopen the project. And what we're going to see happen is uh, it's going to use our i and i file. And it's actually going to populate that array for us automatically. So if we just restore where we're at. And this is our main. If you look at our int array, we have four elements now. The five, seven, two, a thousand. So now if we just play in new editor window, we have, we have the numbers. It's kind of cool. Um, so hopefully this extra bit of information will help you out in your project now that you know how to do array variables instead of just single value variables. Uh, so again, make sure to uh, check out the previous video too if you're a little lost. Um, it's pretty straightforward though. Uh, but make sure if you like the content, you like uh, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you want me to do next if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And until the next video, guys, I'll see you later. I just want to run to you and break off the chains and throw them away. I just want to.